I am Cardinal Dr. Elizabeth Samantha Rothschild Judge, keeping my word to speak about something that was going on with me and a few ladies who have come to Washington, D.C. Many years ago, there were just a handful of ladies who I knew were going on their way in their travels as I was going on my way in my travels. And I told them that if I make it to Washington, D.C. or to New York, that would be a good place for you to go because if I can make it according to what's available generally for the public in distress, financial distress or duress, then surely you can make it. And a few of those ladies actually came to Washington, D.C. after I got here. So recognizing their faces and remembering what I had told them then, um, I had to speak to them here. And this is what I've kept my word with them to disclose. And I won't mention names because I did promise not to identify them. But what happened was when they got here to Washington, D.C., they started saying, I'm here with Elizabeth or I'm here with the Samantha, depending on the name they call me. And I was like, no, don't do that. I came here by myself. You're here by yourself. The actuality is those particular ladies who I know by name and can identify, but am being discreet and confidential with their identity. They came here because of me. The only reason they came to Washington, D.C. is because of me, but they're not here with me. And so I advised those particular ladies of their statements of independence. And it goes like this. I am here by myself. I am here of my own recognizance. The reason I came is because Samantha inspired me. And because of her, I am here. However, I am not here with her. I am not accountable for her and she is not accountable for me. But the inspiration she gave me is the reason that I'm here. And that is their statement. So a few people have been making their statements of independence and I'm so excited for them because things are happening for the good for them in their lives with regard to their independence. And they're not depending on me for anything. However, if there's any issuances or programs that I can make available for them because of my wealth, of course, they have priority with me to be at the top of my. And so I wanted to keep my word to make publicly known their statements of independence, that they aren't here with me. That doesn't mean they're denying me. They're not denying that they know me. They're not against me when they say they're not here with me. They are merely stating their independence. When I say they're not here with me, I'm not denying them. I'm not calling them stalkers because I want to be an inspiration to people for their good in determining the best route to take in their path of life. So here we have it. I just wanted to make that clear that I came to Washington, D.C. alone. I traveled alone. I didn't invite anyone to come and be here with me. And basically with the most recent activity, uh, these ladies are so grateful that I uh, tell them about the statement of independence because I don't want them to be caught up with any stalker or be named as accessories to stalking activity. And I don't want them to be considered harassers because they don't harass me. They're here for themselves. They're here on their own. And yes, they are here because of me. And I am glad that I was able to inspire them to look for a better way to do the things that they were doing. Because I know if I can make anything happen at all, any way, that the least of God's people can do the same. 
So there you have it. You all have a great day.